An update now, a home explosion, a deadly one in New Jersey. Three people have died. One is still missing. For the very latest on this, we're being joined now by Fox 29's Marcus Espinoza, who's joining us live from Buna, New Jersey. Marcus, tell us a little bit more about the investigation. Do we know what caused this explosion? Hey, no word yet on what caused the explosion exactly. This happened yesterday, just after 1030, 1035 to be exact, but investigators just wrapped up the scene, I'd say about 10 or 15 minutes ago. So they are done here at this initial phase of the investigation, but I also spoke with nearby co uh, construction workers who heard the explosion and then came running to help instead of running away. <laughs> All the floors of the house were blown out. It was just a shell. All the windows were gone, doors were gone, flames were blazing out of every part of the house that was open. In exclusive footage obtained by Fox 29, a neighbor's security camera captures the moment a house exploded with multiple people inside in a Buna, New Jersey home just after 1030 Thursday morning. It was pretty much just a flash and you could see right above the fence, the tree line, uh, way above the tree line, smoke, debris, glass, everything. They pulled another girl to safety. Graham Evans and his crew were working on a house just one block away yesterday when they heard then saw this massive explosion. Evans and his co-worker immediately ran towards the blast to try and help. They were greeted by an unforgettable sight. It was just a, a madhouse at that point. It was just about me, my buddy Dave, and six other guys. Luckily, I mean, I wasn't injured. Nobody else was injured by the time we got there. The criminal investigation is now in its second day, and the blast has left an infant fighting for its life and another teenager injured. The blast could be felt from neighbors several streets over as well. I was walking in from doing yard work and there was just a very loud boom. I dropped what I was doing in my hands. It scared me. Evans and his crew did what they could, but were eventually ushered away by rescue workers. They called it a day soon after that, but the reality of the entire situation not hitting them until much later. Even now, 24 hours later, it's just still going through your head. The initial explosion was just like hit you in your chest. You kind of fell back a couple inches. Your knees kind of gave out a little bit and it was just all right, just just go and help. Kudos to that young man and his bravery, truly. Now, also, we do expect an update here in the next hour or so, and that might announce some additional progress in the investigation, especially considering that they've wrapped up the scene here and they're no longer on site. There were up to probably about 100 investigators here yesterday through today, so this is a very different looking scene than before. I do want to also uh, remark on the fact that a infant is fighting for its life in the hospital right now, uh, a one-year-old, and then also also, a 16-year-old is in stable condition, so two hurt from this blast, three confirmed killed, and a uh, uh, single fourth person missing still at this point that has not been confirmed as recovered from the rubble behind me here. All right, Fox 29's Marcus Espinoza. Marcus, we are thinking of that toddler and the teen as well, and we'll be looking for that update this afternoon too. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. You got it.